Over the past couple of years, there has been a growing number of various C8 Corvette kits, as well as very interesting alterations to the car. That includes Corvettes on the water. Hey, hello, how are you? Welcome to Road Odyssey. I am Burke. Hope you're having a very nice day. So, I keep seeing interesting changes to the appearance of the C8 in Facebook and in several of the news articles out there on the internet. So, for me, I like the C8, well, the way it is for now. My money uh, goes into driving to places. So, I like going on long trips, parks, museums, uh you know, going on shops, like doing these shop tour videos for y'all and stuff, cruise-ins and things like that. So that's where my money is uh, placed right now. Uh, but are you interested in changing the appearance of your C8? Well, in this video, I go over some of the companies and products that are out there ready to sell you for anything to change the appearance of your C8. So I go over some of the appearance packages, uh, like the aero kits, some of the body kits, and extreme makeovers. So now I have seen a couple of articles out there that say these are all of, you know, the body kits and stuff like that. Well, no, the articles were wrong. Um, there's, there is tons of stuff out there. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I found a few of these articles that were virtually identical, listing only maybe six products that were out there. Maybe two body kits and then three or four, uh, aero kits and maybe one wheel company. But these articles are extremely outdated even when they were first published. At the very least, there have always been plenty of places where you could get custom wraps and really awesome wheels. VicRes not only advertises wraps, but they also sell wheels. And let's look at Paragon. They have wheels for the C8 Corvette. Look at this, you got BC Titan, uh, BBS, Vossen, plenty of manufacturers out there for the C8. One of the wheel manufacturers that everybody should know about is Brixton Forged. They might have been amongst the first people to have C8 wheels. I found this article on Street Speed 717 with his C8 Corvette and this was a long time ago. If you want your car lowered like this Pandem, I am sure you can find plenty of places such as bag riders. Just do that Google search on air suspension systems for the C8 and you ought to find plenty of them. Switching gears a little bit, you can also find really cool appearance packages for the engine bay such as those from American Hydrocarbon. Again, there are probably several others who can provide you with this as well. If you want to change the appearance of the back tail lights, go to RPI. LG Motorsport has also been in the mix with their wing. They have a splitter coming and they have exhaust. Speedcore also has carbon fiber aero kits, as does RPM who not only has that, but also the doors, side mirrors, hoods, whatever else. Here's a quick look at RCS that is also in that same ballpark. And the list of C8, you know, aero kits and accessories can just go on and on. One of the most controversial are the Lambo style doors, like from Icon, which we also saw from RPM. So in the first few minutes of this video, I've already given you a slew of vendors for appearances, 
Aero kits, wheels, wraps, American Hydrocarbon, RPI, Paragon, Corvette Mods, RPM West Coast Corvettes, LG Motorsports, Speed Core, RSC, AG Motorsport, Atomic 6, Brixton Forge, Econ, Bag Riders, AccuAir. Now I'd like to refer you back to December 2020 when Brent Ruiz did a review of the first wide body C8 Corvette. And here again, this is 2020 with the suspension, exhaust, carbon fiber, body kit, all kinds of stuff. So you know there were already several different Corvette packages available, not just five or six like a lot of the news articles were trying to claim. So that's my lead in to showing y'all at least another six body kits, several of which were already around back in 2020 and early 2021. The Pandem wide body kits have a heritage that goes back to Japan in the 1980s and are a offshoot of the Rocket Bunny body kits. This kit just might be that which you compare all other body kits to. This kit looks fast even when it's parked. The next body kit maker is Liberty Walk. Liberty Walk is also from Japan and they began back probably a little before 2008 with their performance Lamborghini Murcielago. This, again, is a beautiful body kit. It has a lot of sharp lines and features that really provide contrast for the C8. Now, I'm up to TJ Hunt's wide body kit for the C8. TJ Hunt, along with others, have developed the MK5 Super Kit along with the C8 Corvette kit. This means that he does have history knowledge and experience with kits. In my mind, it's more of a body kit that follows the original design of the car and flows directly with all those body lines. The Street Hunter kit is comparable in price to most anybody else. Alandi Motors, I'm probably butchering that name. This is a very lovely kit Sort of subtle, not sure if I like this one quite as much. And also a bit subtle to me, but very racy, is Concept 8's body kit. This is another very tasteful body kit. Two more rather aggressive body kits are Sagala Design, maybe butchering that name, I don't know, and then Ivan Tampi. So I just gave you these seven body kits, and I'm sure you could find more if you looked hard enough. While you can go out and read all the articles you want on body kits, I highly suggest finding all of them, reading their information, their background, calling them up, and just getting good information straight from the horse's mouth. As Monty Pythons would say, now for something completely different. What I mean is completely different things to do with the C8 Corvette. What do you think of converting a C8 Corvette into a C2? Personally, I think it's a little bit odd, but you know, to each his own. Whatever floats your boat and whatever other strange comments you can come up with for something like this. Now this is something I did a video on quite a while back last year. This is a fantastic car, the Ares S Project. This thing is fantastic, fantastic. Just take a look at this car. It is beautiful. This is a 705 to 715 horsepower Corvette-based supercar. How much will this set you back? Well, how about a jaw-dropping over $590,000? This one's been in the news quite a bit. Competition Carbon is turning the C8 Corvette into a V12 Cadillac supercar. They hope to be showing this for the SEMA 2022 show. 
It was partly inspired by the Cadillac Cyan way back around, I guess, 2002. You might think that this is a rendering. Well, this is not. This is a C8 Corvette transformed into a off-road all-terrain SUV. This is built by Lafite. It is the Lafite X-Road. Or you might say Crossroad. This is a street legal off-road monster. 720 horsepower, four-seater, and luxurious. And they are asking a cool $465,000 for this supercar. And with the way things are going today, could be more than that. Maybe you would rather have a, a jet Corvette out on the water. This is Jet Car Turkey. And they are a, well, a turkey-based company. Get it? Turkey-based? Yes, they're out of Turkey. This company's been around since at least 2020, if not a little bit before that. The C7 replica car boat is, well, a Corvette-looking body over the top of a Sea-Doo speedboat, 260 horsepower. So if you can't get enough of your Corvette on land, hey, why not go by water? If you really love the water and want to spend $1.7 then find yourself the ZR48. This boat started as far back as 2012, 2700 horsepower Corvette powerboat. It is sporting twin Mercury racing twin turbo marine engines. video thank you very much for watching please subscribe I would really 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 appreciate that very much so just hit that subscribe button and if you want notifications hit that bell please relax take it easy and I will see you later bye